Hi everyone. Just wanted to give you a quick update this week on the ship movements and give you a bit of, basically a bit of an update on what we've been working on, what we've changed, uh, and show you a couple of the ships moving around in the engine. So since the last movement demos that we did, we've actually changed quite a lot. Um, one of those being a, a completely new physics engine that we've brought in. But we've also um, enhanced the way that the game looks at the models and actually works out how they should move. The first thing that it does really is to um, analyse the centre of gravity for a model and then work out how fast it should be able to turn on the X, Y and Z axes. Now that means that for a small and compact ship, for instance like the Dominion Attack ship or the Defiant class, you'll be able to move it around, turn it very easily, as you would expect because it's a small ship, not much mass, quite compact. Something which is bigger, like the uh, Constitution class, which you can see here, because that's got a lot of mass in front and behind of the central gravity, that means that it's going to be harder to turn that ship up and down. So, in other words, to uh, put the nose down or put the nose up. So that might not sound all that interesting, really, but what that means is that for a ship like the Constitution class, which hasn't got big wings either side of it, it hasn't got anything really massive um, up and below it, it's kind of got equally distributed mass on those two axes. It should still be able to turn relatively quickly if we want to maybe uh, roll it or if we want to basically yaw the ship. So what that gives us is a very natural kind of feel uh, and the ships really respond the way that you would expect them to. If they're really huge and they've got a lot of weight behind them then they will kick their tail out when they, when they um, rotate and equally if they're really small then they'll be fast and very easy to control and in fact th what you're seeing here on the, these ships is completely without any kind of hard pointing. In other words, an artist hasn't gone in there and worked out how the ship should be moving. This is all just the engine figuring it out on its own. So what this means is that before we've even had someone go in and work out how the ship should move, how the ship should be able to be controlled, we've actually already got the engine making a best guess at that. And we can work from that best guess and we can either make it harder to fly or easier to fly depending on what we know about that ship. Best of all, because of this amount of control that we've got over the ship movement, it actually means that every single ship will have its own feel and its own quirks. And for instance, all of the Starfleet ships, which tend to have large saucers and nacelles out the back, they will have one characteristic. A, a, a Romulan Nerexan class, which has got very large wings, will have a completely different feel about it. So the different types of ships are really going to act very differently now because of this level of detail that we've got. <laughs> 